Here is the culprit in non-duality, this sense of a conscious you, aware of everything that's happening, but only ever in terms of itself and everything else. According to one version of non-duality, this is your true self. But first you might need to make sure it's clean and silent and still and self-realized. To do that, you might need to negotiate with a guru or hope grace intervenes or do meditation or a thousand or so other suggestions that might help you. The aim is to discover that your consciousness can become realized as the One Consciousness with a capital C. Maybe you've been taught that you need consciousness to be aware of a body and a mind. So not a body and a mind that has consciousness, but a body and a mind appearing in consciousness. You are, in fact, first and foremost consciousness. Your consciousness is the same as the absolute oneness consciousness. Discovering this, you become an awakened, enlightened person. And you now see others as not enlightened, unless they too begin a negotiating practice so that the absolute awareness becomes known to them too. This type of non-duality includes a god, but instead of projecting an old man in the sky, you have an enormous bubble of awareness. What is inside man is God. Funny thing though, what if there is no you? No conscious you, let alone a one consciousness hovering in the background waiting for you to wake up to your true self. So that brings us to another version of non-duality that suggests this you consciousness does not even exist. It's only an illusory sense. It's not the saviour, it's this pesky thing that's actually creating the sense of separation from everything else in the first place. But how to verify this is a truth? If only this you consciousness could just bloody well drop so you could see that this you consciousness here is an illusion. How are all these speakers of this second version of non-duality able to say there is no you consciousness? They must have knowledge, but they don't because there is no them, and they can't help because they don't see a you. In the first version of non-duality, they see this, a you with a consciousness bubble who needs to become self-realized. In this second version, nothing is seen that is separate from what's happening. Let's say this here is everything. In the first version of non-duality, there is a you who is really residing as consciousness attached to an absolute that needs to be found here, hiding behind the illusion of the everything that is. In the second version, there is only what is, no separate you here at all, just wholeness as it is, no separate humans anywhere, no projections. No you can hear this. That is the good news and the bloody annoying news. Annoying if the ghost of seeking starts to bash at the wall of knowledge, desperate to see that it doesn't exist. It's not you doing it, it's seeking energy happening. But it totally sucks. And great news because there are no requirements. No you could ever get this. No you can ever hear this. Words are heard by no one. They just appear. Even if knowledge appears, it's not really knowledge, it's an appearance, and that immediately renders it as not knowledge. The witness is already not there. No one here talking. Well, duh, pixels appearing and sound, but also no apparent viewer of this video hearing. No one here with a consciousness bubble, and no one there with a consciousness bubble. What does that leave? Just this. No authority anywhere, no witness, no here and there, just an apparent equal appearance for no one. What is, minus a consciousness bubble that is already not appearing, equals what is? There is only what is. No, I definitely have a consciousness bubble here, and I need it to drop. What's a speaker to say but, ah, uh, there is no consciousness bubble anywhere. There is already no knowledge and no knower. Apparent responses happening, apparent thoughts appearing, create the sense of a conscious knower who lives inside. No consciousness is found inside the appearance of a body. No consciousness bubble to be found anywhere on the planet. No consciousness is found hiding anywhere and living as the absolute. There is just this immediate appearance. There is no you who needs to come to believe there is no you. That task is impossible. Whether there seems a you or not a you, this is all that would be apparently happening. 
It's not like if a you drops, you'd suddenly be transported somewhere else that's marvellous. If a consciousness bubble suddenly went splat, or if a consciousness bubble that already isn't there doesn't go splat, there would still just be this that's appearing to happen. There is just this appearance and no consciousness bubble. Really, no one anywhere has a consciousness bubble. And that becomes obvious, and it becomes ludicrous to come across non-duality that speaks to the consciousness bubble as if it needs to realise something or become convinced of something. They may as well be talking to a non-existent unicorn. There is no unicorn. There is also no consciousness bubble. Gurus are hallucinating you as a consciousness bubble where there is none. Although, strictly speaking, there is no them either. There's just an apparent communication happening, even though there is already no one. Another way to see this is the cube. One view and you see a cube in the corner. You think you are a cube, needing to become one with the floor and walls of oneness. And gurus point out ways for you to do just that, by being silent, still, go within, etc. But this is the same cube, where you thought the I am a separate being resided, is actually nothing. There is no one there. It's already oneness. Who could do anything? Gurus claim they have become one, but you are still the cube who needs to follow them to find love and bliss. I can help you wake up to your true nature. A small cube never becomes wholeness. It's already not there. You are already not there. That's why when the I am drops, it's seen it never happened. There was nothing other than wholeness. And oneness has no eyes and no ears, no consciousness, no knowledge. Without a witness or the ability to know itself, Nothing is happening. How horrifying and taboo to see that Tolly, Muji, Byron Katie, Rupert Spira, Adyashanti, all probably sweet and loving and well-meaning, as I thought I was when I was teaching, and even the apparent greats like Ramana and Nisigadatta have been talking to cubes and bubbles that aren't there and talk about a consciousness that doesn't exist. Consciousness can't even be oneness. Consciousness means being conscious of something, which automatically divides. Consciousness is the great divider. All these gurus have turned consciousness into a noun and an identity, and then have made that identity a divine knower, and even divided devotees into who is awake and who isn't. Yet a small box in the corner never becomes wholeness. It's just already not there. You are already not there as separate. That's why when the I am drops, it's seen it never happened. There was nothing other than wholeness. Now this message is a game changer. You die. The death may be unpredictable. It's like, and this is a story, the brain is like a simulation cockpit without the pilot. And it can go a bit mad as thoughts wreak havoc trying to find the absent pilot. No conscious you in the past back there, who's present here, and who has a future possibility of becoming self-realised here. Just what's happening. And no one can know what this happening appearance is because there is no one separate. In the first type, the carrot of peace and bliss and becoming self-realised, as loving and gorgeous as that offer seems, it ultimately is selling separation and not oneness at all. And the second type can seem like the meanest offering ever. Oneness invites everything but you to the party and there is nothing on offer because there is only this happening for no one, which, when it's seen, is just obvious. Admittedly, this here is a very strange store. First of all, I couldn't even fit through the door with all the wonderful techniques I knew. And I definitely couldn't get through with any of my knowledge. And there's nothing to buy in here whatsoever. And there's nothing here for the me. And there's no one even here to help. Watch this. Hello? Hello? I need some help here. No one. And this button here can be so confronting. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Who would have thought this strange shop could end seeking? It's all ocean. No one chooses which non-duality they come across. It doesn't matter if you think the answer lies in an actual consciousness that needs to become self-realized, or if it is discovered there is no such thing as consciousness, and this is wholeness already, or if there is no interest in non-duality whatsoever. It's all water already, appearing as different currents, going in different directions, but never separate from the ocean. Is my hair waving about enough? Do I look like I'm underwater? Take two. It's all ocean. Thank you.